Hey, if you're on the fence about buying the Steam Deck OLED, <clears throat> or you're further looking to justify the purchase to your girlfriend, mother, wife, I'm going to tell you in this video the five reasons why this is a no-brainer buy, and I am not just gonna state the obvious stuff. This video is gonna go over the small but powerful little upgrades and features I was happily surprised by when I got it and I started using it. The stuff that doesn't tend to make the big headlines but makes a huge difference in your actual gaming experience. And I'm gonna tell you what a lot of folks are too scared to tell you, but we'll get to that in a bit. Okay, let's start at number five, the touchpads. The touchpads! Oh, the touchpads! Oh, my happy thumbs. Honestly, when I booted up my new deck for the first time, this was the first thing I noticed the most. They are incredibly sensitive and responsive, unlike the LCD models. But the thing that you'll notice right away are the haptics, the new haptics on this thing. As you run your thumb over the pad, you feel constant little pings of feedback. If you've played one of the latest Spider-Man games and remember the dual sense during the Spider-Bot scenes, then you know what I'm talking about. It's so satisfying to use and makes using the deck in desktop mode, especially where you're using that a ton, that much more fun and reliable. The button clicks on the track pads are also much more responsive rather than mushiness of the LCD. In many ways, the track pads are a big differentiator from other handheld PCs that have come out in the last year. Okay, number four is refresh rate. I talked about this in a whole video. I went really deep. So if you want a deep dive into the real effects of the higher refresh rate, check that video out. I'll put a link in the description. But for now, let me just say that jumping up to a 90 hertz refresh rate on the screen is a game changer. Not only can you now play some low lift games at 90 FPS, like I've been doing this with ease lately in Dragon's Dogma, but the 90 Hertz also leads to reduced input lag along with the OLED screen, of course, and some other small improvements to the experience. When you're playing with an FPS below 45, Definitely check out that other video I made just on this topic if you want deeper details on that because there's a lot packed in there. Three, the charging light. Like I said, small things that make a big difference. The battery life is much, 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 much better than the LCD Steam Deck. In fact, in my experience, it's way better than Valve even said that it was going to be. It's a totally different thing. But you're still gonna have this thing living on a charger when you're not using it. <laughs> on the old model, you'd never know when it was done charging. But now when it's at 100%, the light turns green. I love that because I'm a power living room gamer, okay? I'm a dad. I've got a USB-C cord near my favorite spot in the living room. It's always moving between the Quest 3, the iPad Pro, my phone, the Steam Deck, all these things. I love being able to just look down, see the green light, know the deck is done charging, and move the cord to the next dead battery. It's the little things. Also, my favorite color is green. Is that relevant? Sure, why not? Button reliability. I actually had to send my old LCD Steam Deck back to Valve earlier this year to get the L1 button replaced because it just didn't click anymore. And there was always an issue where some parts of the L1 and R1 buttons worked, and some parts of it didn't work. I have none of these issues now, but in general, all the buttons across the board have much more satisfying feedback and reliability. The touchpads click better. The triggers have more spring. The steam button isn't all mushy anymore. That's the second time that I've mentioned mushy in this video. And all I can think of is somebody like stepping on an apple. Welcome to my brain. I feel confident these buttons won't let me down. And I really could not say that for the LCD Steam Deck. As much as I love that thing, I was settling for a level of unreliability at times that now I just don't have to worry about. Okay, I've got a few bonus points coming up after number one, so stick around. But here's number one. It, it, honestly, for me, it is having infinitely more reliable Bluetooth. I know, I know, not everybody uses Bluetooth because you don't like the lag. I get that justified fine, but I always use Bluetooth headphones. It's convenient, it sounds awesome. I love it. The problem though with the LCD Bluetooth implementation was that it dropped all the time and regularly wouldn't connect. I game exclusively in my living room with my AirPod Pros, and it just became commonplace for me to have to try to connect to them through the deck three or four times. They also just love to completely disconnect every time I launched a new game, no big deal. But no more! Now, Bluetooth doesn't disconnect, and it always connects like right when I try, right from the beginning. Okay, I have a few bonus things for you, but first, let me just say at the time of recording this, I am a really, 
really, really, really, really, really, really small, teensy tiny channel. So hitting a like and a subscribe really honestly does help me. Let's grow together. Okay, so some bonus surprising features for me. It always boots up, which trust me, was not always a given with the last model. When you push the power button to come out of sleep, not always a given. The sound is noticeably better, a little less tinny and more full. It really, really does also feel lighter. I know it's technically only slightly lighter, but in real life, it feels very different. Mostly you can feel it in the middle. Like there's a huge weight reduction in the center of the thing and the heaviest parts are in the right and the left sides. Did I miss any? What are the biggest improvements for you besides the OLED screen? Let's chat about it in the comments. Oh, and what I was going to say that everybody else is afraid to say is I'm gonna tell you right now, this is worth upgrading. Like if that's the question you're asking yourself and you're like, can I justify this? I don't know if I can justify this. My LCD steam, listen, just get out your your wallet and do it. I mean, I don't see why we have to be afraid to tell people to spend money. You you know if you have the money or not. If you got the money, buy it because it's freaking awesome. Share this video with a friend who's on the fence and I look forward to seeing you again soon.